Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be going over this 2024 Honda Accord Sport Hybrid. So yeah, this is not the Sport L trim. Um, if you guys do want to see the Sport L trim, I'm going to link the video down in the description below and it's going to look something like this over here. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go and get started. Here's the key fob for the vehicle. Alrighty, and this trim does have fully LED headlights, LED taillights, LED high beams, LED turn signals, LED reverse lights, and basically LED everything. And there are a few key differences from the Sport L trim, which I will get into, but the first thing is these rims not being fully blacked out, and these pieces here not being glossy. The Sport L trim, these pieces, like those pieces right there, they're shiny, which is like glossy, kind of like this. But yeah, with this trim, you do have the black mirror caps. And when I ordered this car, I did add on the blind spot information. Some Accords, like the Sport L I reviewed a few months ago, did not have that. Um, so yeah, they knocked like 500 off the MSRP for that. This does have smart keyless entry, as you guys can see. And walking towards the back here, the Sport L does have a diffuser as well. This does not have that. But it does have the rear deck lid spoiler, which looks actually really, really good. And then the Sport L would have a blacked out Sport emblem. This just has a normal uh, chrome Sport emblem. And I just took delivery of this car yesterday. Um, I stayed until the dealer closed to finish up all the paperwork. But uh, yeah, let's go and step inside and check out the interior and let's see the key differences from this to the Sport L. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that this unfortunately does not have memory seating. And this seat over here is manually adjusting on the Sport L, both front seats are powered. However, on the Sport trim, only this seat is powered. And the Sport L trim adds leather trim seating to the car, so leather seats. This has nice cloth seats, which I actually really, really like really premium looking uh cloth seats not too bad looking all right let's go and shut the door here all right and let's go and start it up there's your blind spot sensors oh they just went off all right, so sorry about that, guys. The startup probably got interrupted because my phone connected a CarPlay. But uh, yeah, you have this 10.2-inch instrument cluster right here, and then you have this 12.3-inch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I believe it is 12.3 inches. And this you can only get on the Sport trim or higher. So um, the EX trim and lower will not have this. And this screen is just really snappy and fast. yeah you get an example of that and we do have the power flow both front two windows are automatic and then on a full tank with this car i usually get around 590 to 620 miles of range which is really really good and this thing is so smooth. Um, it drives like an EV when it's in EV mode, like literally. Um, it has uh, regen braking. So it regen, you let off the gas, and it brakes like an electric car using the motors. Do his own automatic climate control. Got these nice air vents. You have these really nice tactile wheels. And then you have lighting down here for your storage. And like I said, this car does have the blind spot monitoring. So if you go into reverse here, you do have the cross traffic monitoring. Um, so I don't know if you guys saw or remember, but the Sport L I reviewed a few months ago, that did not have blind spot monitoring, so it did not have cross traffic monitoring as well. Some of these trims don't have it either. It depends how you spec it and you order it or how your dealer already has it. But yeah, luckily mine has the blind spot sensors and cross traffic monitor. All right, so yeah, that's going to be it for the front here. I'm going to show you guys like these like settings here for a few here. So using the scroll wheel, you can scroll through all these stuff here. 
I like to keep it on the range and fuel. And you can also customize the gauges as well. So if you go down to gauge display settings here, and then go all the way down to gauge design, uh, I like the bar. Or you can do minimal, which looks like an EV. I like to keep it on round minimal, so gauges will hide when cruise is active. And then it shows like all the cars around you. And yeah, go ahead and comment down below how you guys like this video quality. I took a break from my GoPro and G7X and testing out the video quality on this iPhone 14, or sorry, iPhone 15 Pro. All right, so let's go and hit back here, back. And like I said, I like the range and feel. And let's go and shut off the car here. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to the back seats and check out the cloth seats back there. If you guys are wondering, yes, this does have Honda Link uh, connected surfaces. Alrighty, so hopping back here, hopping in back here, very roomy. Look at this. Very, very roomy. So yeah, no air vents for this trim or the Sport L trim. You have to get the EXL. And if you guys are wondering, the Sport trim, which is this one and up, gets the hybrid standard. Um, the EX and lower have the 1.5T engine. Armrest and cup holder. Again, I don't mind these seats, but I would prefer leather. However, these seats are fine. Uh, really nice premium cloth looking. And then as I mentioned in the Sport L review video, the lights back here are LED, as well as the front. But the Sport trim also does get the moonroof, which the EX has too. But yeah, let's go and hop out here. This color is platinum white pearl with the black cloth seating. Let's get the lighting on here so you guys can see the lighting back here. Like I said, everything is LED. Not a single thing is halogen or incandescent on this car, which is really, really nice. And then if I go ahead and hit this trunk button, the trunk opens up automatically. So you don't have to manually lift it. You do get an air compressor, no spare tire, and then to pull it down, just grab this, pull it down. Very, very nice. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the engine real quick. I know I did show the Sport L, but I want to show you guys again. Hold on, is that hood, is that hood release lighting up? Okay, no, it doesn't light up. Alrighty, and here is the engine bay. I'll put up the engine specs on the screen here. Again, hybrid, dual motor. I think it's around 240 pound feet of torque. I'm not sure. Yeah, everything's gonna be up on the screen. And if you guys wanna see more, it'll be in the description. Very, very nice.